Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now did you like my new intro? Leave a little comment what you think about my new intro. I had that intro made for me by a young man named Mark Dunsmore. Mark has been my son's best friend since high school and he got himself a music degree at Aberdeen University and Mark composed the music that's on that intro uh, even though it's just a little snippet it, it's amazing <laughs> I think it's fantastic and he also picked a few of little snippets from some of my videos he mixed them together put the music on and did all that little click for me just reminding everyone to click on the subscribe button click on that bell icon and give a thumb up as well if you like the video. If you have a YouTube channel and you're looking for an intro, I'll put some of the details for Mark down in the description box. And he composes a lot of music and he's even got some of it on Spotify. I'll put the link for Spotify as well. Go and have a listen to it. It's absolutely amazing. He's an amazing composer. And I hope in the future that I can say I knew him. He's famous. <laughs> He's famous now and I know him. And if you're looking for anything for your YouTube channel as an intro or even soft background music while you do crochet or any other craft, I know a lot of people like to have a soft background music then just click on the little links in the bottom and you can have a little email or have a little chat with Mark. Uh, Mark does the music, it belongs to Mark it's because it's Mark that's done the music. He's a great guy and I'm just taking this five minutes just to give him a little shout out as well. His name, his name is Mark Dunsmore and I'll put all the links for Mark down in the description box. So look at this. Look at this. This is a spiral blanket. You just go around and around and around with this. Don't think for a minute, I'm never going to be able to make that. You can. All it is is a couple of chains, UK treble crochets. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet couple more chains, more stitches, couple chains, more stitches and you go around and around and around and around and look at this. This is one ball of, a one ball and a tiny little bit of these um, mandala, mandala yarn cakes. You can use anything. So I'm going to show you how to do this spiral fillet blanket it's just it goes around i can't stop saying it it goes around and around and look at that and the further you go the more stitches you have in between each chain it's brilliant you can make it huge if you want it's really really pretty the one thing i'm going to tell you is if you if you send me a message and say my blanket's curling it is because you're going around and around, it won't stay curled. It will flatten. Look at mine. Mine's is all flattening out. And then I'll show you how to do this stitch, how to do the pattern. And then I'll show you how to finish it off as well. Now, I've still got some of mine to do on this one. But I will show you how to finish it off. Oh, the clattering noise. Look at this. Someone sent me these. My friend Pauline. I've got a lady and her name is Pauline and she just sends me a little text and she'll say, I'm sending you a little gift. You'll get it from Amazon in a few days. Now it's a kilt pin. Ooh. Um, yeah, this kilt pin has got these little stitch markers on them. Look at this. It says Crochet Diva and on here there's a little ball of wool. There's a pair of scissors. These are really pretty. There's a little pair of scissors there's some buttons there's some buttons and a little measuring tape but um you can get them on amazon look at that it's really really pretty and they're little stitch markers i love them but you know what you can attach these to your mobile phone as well or you can attach them to your zippers they're not what am i like you're not just using them for stitch markers you can use them for lots of other things and they're very conveniently on this pin i love this pin by the way 
This is absolutely, I love it. It's like a kilt pin. It's lovely. But anyway, Pauline, thank you very much for these. I really appreciate them. They're so much better and less fiddly than those little ones that I've been using. Even though I like the little light bulb pins, these are so much easier. And look at that, they just hang in your, they hang in your work. Brilliant. The reason I've got this on it, it's just showing me where my last sort of row finishes and then the next one starts. It goes around and around this blanket. I'll pop these off to the side. Now, it goes round and round. And one row you'll have, I've got 22 stitches. And then it goes straight over to the next round and it's 26. There is no chain three and then another round. You just go round and round and round and round. And I'm going to show you how to make this a beautiful blanket. It will flatten out if you, if you smooth it all out like that. And it's really, really pretty. So I'm going to use this. I was donated this and it's a, a kiddies kaleidoscope and it's drawn by Signet. So I'm going to show you how to do the sample with this. I think it will show up the pattern really, really nice. So you can use whatever yarn you like. Now I have got, this is a double knitting. And for my sample, again, I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. This is a UK four millimeter hook. So I'm going to show you how to do this spiral fillet blanket. So I'm going to start off with a magic knot. And how you do a magic knot, it's just like a big slip knot. I just wrap it around my hand like this. This is my tail end here. I'm going to put my hook in and just pull that yarn through that loop. I'll just give that a little pull. Get my working yarn and just bring that loop in. And I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. So into the loop, I'm going to put 10 treble crochets and that chain of three makes number 11. So if you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. So into the ring and we're going to put 10 treble crochets into this ring. You can pull it a little bit smaller if you like. So all together we need 11 treble crochets. Your chain is number one. So I've got my 11 treble crochets. I'm going to pull this tail end, just pull it in so you can go into a circle with this. And into the top, I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain of three, like this. So I've got my 11 treble crochets. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Now, right at the bottom of that chain, in that little space, I'm going to put another treble crochet. I'm going to increase all my stitches. So into the next stitch, I'm going to put two treble crochets all the way around. So two into that stitch. Two into the next stitch, all the way around. So we should have 22 stitches. So I've got myself a little stitch marker that I'm going to use. You don't really need one, but if you're a beginner and you want to know where the row starts, then you can use a stitch counter. But it doesn't matter because we're going to go around and around and around and around. It won't really matter. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to close my round off. I've got 22 stitches now. So I'm going to close my round off. Just slip stitch into the top of that chain of three. Just like that. Now I'm going to chain two. 
one and two. So all your stitches are in sets of two all the way around and I've got 22 stitches. I want to use the top of this next one and then the space in between my sets of two stitches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch into this next space. So slip stitch over into that one. I'm going to do a chain of three. One, two and three. Now into the space. So remember that you've got sets of two. Into that space I'm going to put two treble crochets. Into that space. That's one and two. I'm going to chain one. Now into the next stitch. So the stitch above this post, we're going to skip it and we're going to the next stitch and we're going to do a treble crochet into the next stitch. Then into the space that's between your two stitches, your little group of two, we're going to put two treble crochets, one and two. Chain one and you're going to skip the stitch that's right above that post. Now it might look as if you're going to skip that one but it's not. There is a stitch there. There is a stitch there and make sure that's the one above that post that you skip and you're going to put a treble crochet into the next stitch and then two into the space beside it. One and two. I'm going to chain one, skip the stitch above that post and we're going into the stitch that's above this post and then two into the space and you can clearly see where your two stitches are. We're using one stitch and then two into the space and this is what's going to start creating our spiral. So the stitch above that post, you skip it and then we're going to go into the next one. But we need to chain one. Remember that chain one before you do these sections. So one above the stitch and two into the chain space. Two into the space. Chain one. Skip that stitch that's right there and work this one above the second post in your little cluster there of two and then put two into the space and chain one and what that's creating is sets of three and then you've got a chain space a set of three a chain space and a set of three and as you work your blanket these sets will become, the next one will be four in a chain space, the next row will be five in a chain space, then six, then seven. And that is going to create that spiral around with these chain spaces. Once we've done about 10 rows, we'll change the chain to two chains to stop your blanket from going right away. Chain one. So you're putting one into the top of there, you're skipping that little stitch, one into there, and two into that chain space, that's one and two. Now you're going to chain one, remember that chain one, and you're going to slip stitch to the top of this chain of three that we've got here. Just slip stitch to close the circle. So now we've got groups of three. I want you to slip over to that one. We've got groups of three now. You can see your groups of three stitches. So we need to be above, so we need to be into this stitch here before the space. 
So the next round our stitches, we're going to have four stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch there. So slip one along, slip along one stitch like this. Now this is when you can put your marker in if you want. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. So what you're going to do now is you're going to put one into that stitch and two into the chain space. One treble crochet into that space, that stitch, and two into the chain space. And that one there is going to make our fourth stitch. So yarn over, because we've slip stitched over, that's a skipped our one stitch. So into the next one. Now you can put your marker in here if you want. And that you know that's going to be that's been the start of that row. So we're going to put two into the chain space, two treble crochets. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and work these two stitches and two into the chain space. So you're skipping that very first stitch right beside that post. So one into that stitch, one into the next stitch. And two treble crochets into the space. One and two. Chain one. And you're going to skip that stitch right beside that post. Skip that one and work the next two stitches. One and two. Then two into the chain space. And that's going to give you a set of four. So as you can see, we've now got sets of four. So we started with one, then we've got two, then we've got three, and then we've got four. And that's the way the blanket builds up. And as you're doing your chain and you've got your spaces, it's moving that little space from right here in the center and it'll go around and around i'll show you my little one that i've got here that i'm keeping just to show you I'll turn it around the right way now as you can see we started with our ones we've got our twos threes and fours and then it's five so when you join your your round as long as you slip stitch one over and then start your count you should get this spiral with your and two good chain one remember your chain one now we're going to slip stitch into this one with the chain of three where your little marker is just slip stitch into there to join that round now I'm going to take my stitch marker out, take that out, so we've got sets of four stitches, we're going to slip stitch through that one and over to that one. You've got to remember and do your chain before you close around and you've got to slip stitch past that one. It's like you're doing your missed stitch with your skip stitch. You slip that first one. So now we're above this third one in that set of four. So now we're above the second stitch in that set. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. That's your first treble crochet. So into the next stitch, you're going to put a treble crochet. That's two. Into the next stitch, put a treble crochet. That's three. Now into the chain space, you're going to put two. That makes four and five. So now our set, so now our stitch count is five. 
chain one, skip one, and then you're going to work the next three stitches. That's one into that stitch, one into that stitch is two, one into that stitch is three, then two into the chain space makes four and five. You'll always put two in the chain space. Chain one, skip one, and then you're going to work these three stitches and two into the chain space. So now your stitches are sets of five. We went from one, two, three, four, and five. Remember that chain to make your hole and it will go around and around. You'll spiral around and around. So skip a stitch. And we're doing three treble crochets. One, two, one above the next one is three. Then two into the chain space. Makes four and five. Chain one, skip one. Do three treble crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Put two into the chain space. One and two. That makes five. Now chain one. Remember and do that chain one before you slip stitch into the top of that chain of three. So you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain of three. So remember to slip that next stitch, go into that next stitch, into the next stitch and slip it. And that gives you one, two, three. And then do your chain of three. One, two, three. That's your first treble crochet. So you've got three more to make four and two in here to make six. So your last round, your stitches were five. This round, it's going to be six stitches. So that's your first stitch. One, two, three, four. And five and six, I'll go into the chain space. So that's five and number six. Always put two into the chain space. So when you close your round, you'll slip stitch to close it. Then slip stitch along one more stitch. And that is what makes, and that's what offsets the chain spaces as you doing that one slip stitch over so now we've got sets of six stitches one two three four five and six so we're on a chain one we're going to skip that stitch there and work these ones so we're skipping that first post and then working along and put two in the chain space. So we should have six. That's one, two, three, four, and two into the chain space to make six. That's five and six. Chain one. Skip one, skip one, and do your next set of five. Or it's your next set of six. One, two, three, four, five. We're on a set of six. So I'm going to chain one and slip stitch to the top of my chain of three. Slip stitch to the top of there 
and then slip stitch that next stitch right beside it slip stitch through there and then we're going to do a chain three and we'll have seven stitches in our set so chain three one two three and we're going to work along here that makes two three four should have five in this part here five and then two into the chain space to make our set of seven now as you can see you can grasp what we're doing remember your chain one now you can really grasp what we're doing here you can see that starting to go on the spiral i don't need my little stitch marker because you can clearly see where you're going and that is going to turn that little spiral it will go around now until you've got to where you've got nine in between your sets then start doing two chain so at the minute i'm at seven so you can see we started with one two three four five then our set of six and then we'll have a set of seven when you get to nine that's when you'll start doing chain two in between if you don't do that your blanket will start to go up like a bow and it won't straighten out it will until you get to row nine now if you are making this and your tension is different from me don't worry if you have to start doing two chains in between your sets before i do if your tension's tighter you might have to start doing your two chains when you're on your sets of seven don't worry about that and then you'll just continue your blanket i'll show you my little sample again i'll turn that around now i got to number nine before i started to put two chains in between my sets so here i'm at one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm actually at number 11 so when i was at number nine i started to put two chains in between my sets of stitches because my blanket was going up like this too much now keep smoothing it you may have to start doing your two chains further down so don't worry about that if you have to do that then you do that it's up to you i don't know what your tension's like my tension is quite slack so i got up to number nine i got up to row nine then i started putting two chains in up until then i only did one chain in between my sets of stitches but once again if your blanket starts to curl too much put another chain so i'm going to do what's called a half treble crochet in the uk if you're in the usa this is a half double crochet put your yarn over and go into that next stitch beside your space put it through pull your yarn through and you've got three loops on pull through all of those three loops so what you're doing is this is your uk treble and this is a half treble so it's half that size i'm going to do one more in the next stitch so yarn over and go into your next stitch you've got three loops i'll pull that down a bit you've got three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops into the next stitch you're just going to do a uk double crochet if you're in the usa this is a single crochet we're going to do two so do one into that stitch two loops and pull through and one into the next stitch two loops and pull through so as you can see what it's done it's brought that last row down into a small stitch what you're going to do now is you're going to chain three chain three one two and three now this is my last row 
my last row, I'm actually going to turn my work. So, so the back of the blanket is facing me. I'm going to do one row of UK treble crochets. Now, the reason I've turned it is when you're going around and around in a spiral, it makes the stitches on your last row kind of come up like this. So if we go the opposite way for one row, it's going to keep that edge straight. It won't tip forward like that once we've got the blanket finished. So for this one row only, your very, very last row, you'll shorten down your stitches the way I've just showed you. Rewind the video if you forget. Then chain three and turn your work around. So I've got the back end of the blanket facing me. That's the front of my blanket and it's facing away from me. I am going to put one UK treble crochet into every stitch. When I get to a chain space, I'll put two in the chain space and start straight away into the next stitch. One into every stitch. One full round of UK treble crochets. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. Now, you might say, why did I shorten the stitches down? Because I didn't want... When you do your chain three, you'll have too big a gap from down here up to here to do that last round. And you'll have a really strange area where you've gone from the spiral to a single row. So into the next stitch, all we're going to do all the way around the blanket is a treble crochet. And because we're going in the opposite direction, you won't have a curl around the edge. Your edge of your blanket won't be curled up like that. It'll stay straight. Now, if you make a much bigger blanket, you can keep going and going and going. And just keep straightening out your blanket. If you make a great big one, you might end up with, because you can see what I mean here, it's kind of curled because we're going around in a spiral. But if we do that one row on the opposite, it's going to straighten that up nicely like that. Now, the bigger you make your blanket, you may get little folds like this in it. That is unavoidable in a blanket like this with this chain in it it's kind of unavoidable but it does flatten out if you want to take a picture of your blanket it will flatten and if you've got it around a baby it doesn't matter if it's got like a little bump as you see as it moves around the little bumps just disappear it won't stay there like that. It won't stay there. Look, see, it just flattens out. So I just want to bring that to your attention as well. So we're going to do our treble crochets all the way around. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. Just do one into every stitch. I'll work my way right round to that chain space and show you what I'm going to do in the chain space. Got my little ball of yarn. And this is a ball of yarn that I had my heart in. <laughs> when I got this given to me, this was actually in it. This this heart shape. I think it's fantastic. And I feel I feel very guilty now that I've used it. <laughs> I feel very guilty now that I've used it. I was keeping it as a prop because I think it's really pretty with that heart in the middle. So I'm going to go right around doing one UK treble crochet. That's a USA double crochet into each stitch, into the top of each stitch. All the way around. When I get to the chain space, I'll put two into the chain space and continue working. When I get to this chain space, I'll put two treble crochets into the chain space and continue working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way all the way around my blanket. 
and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. And like I've said, you can do this as big as you like it or as small as you like it. If you want just a little small one, maybe a little bigger than the sample I've done, you can attach a little toy into the middle. Do you want know, like those little teddy bear heads or the bunny rabbit heads? And you can make this into a little cuddly blanket for a little child. I'll throw that back over there, a little frisbee. So I'm going to work my way around just one row, this one last row. And what it does, as you can see, look at that. It's just making that last row nice and straight. It gives it a little edge as well on it. And look at that. It just straightens that little curl because you can see the little curl there. It does go away. It really does. But because we're going that one row in the opposite direction, look at that. It straightens off that edge. And so I hope I've explained that enough. So I'm just going to go on to that first stitch after my chain space this time. We're not skipping any stitches and we're not doing any chain spaces. We're just continuing one treble crochet or if you're in the USA, this is one double crochet into every stitch all the way around the blanket. And as you can see, it just finishes off your blanket really nice. I'll get that done and I'll come back and show you what my blanket's like when it's completely finished. Is my spiral blanket all finished? It's really pretty, it's laying flat. The edge is flat like this. You can make this as big as you want. And it's so pretty. And like I said already, it's nice and just plain colours as well. You can see from the colourways of this, it would be really pretty if it was in lemon or even in red. And it shows you the different colours with this. And the pattern stands out absolutely amazing. And look at that. I hope you give this a try. It is easy. It's simple. You just go around and around and around, around and around. You're doing your stitches. You're doing two into your chain space. Then your stitches, two into the chain space. You're skipping your one, remember. And all you're doing is you're just going around and around like that. It's really, really easy. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Just click on that subscribe button. If you click on the bell icon, then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. Give the video the thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment. And let me know what you think about my new intro. I'm going to stick it on the end of the video again just so you can see it. It gives you a little reminder to click on the subscribe button Click on the bell icon and click like and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. It's just a little reminder to do that. Help me get up to 200,000 subscribers. And I want to thank Mark Dunsmore. Mark, that is a brilliant intro. I love it. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to do that for me. We love it. Thank you. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.